All right, so the table given here below, we're looking at a table, and then we want to write the equation from the table. So I'm going to find what my slope is. So I'm going to see what happens when I go from 21 to 15. I'm subtracting 6. When I go from 1 to 3, I'm adding 2. Well, my slope is the change in y over the change in x. So that's negative 6 divided by 2, which is going to give me negative 3. All my answer choices are in slope intercept. So that's going to eliminate g, and that's going to eliminate j, because my slope is negative 3. So now I need to determine what my um, y-intercept is. My y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So I'm going to write my equation y is equal to negative 3 x plus b. I'm going to go ahead and pick another point and plug in for b. Let's see. It doesn't really matter. I can pick any one. I'm going to pick that one. So this is going to become 3 is equal to negative 3 times 7 plus b. That becomes 3 is equal to negative 21 plus b. I'm going to add 21 to both sides. That's going to give me b is equal to 20. So my equation when I rewrite this is going to be y is equal to negative 3x plus 24, which is our answer choice F, or N instead of the X, sorry. All right. Um, a restaurant jar, um, a, at a restaurant, jars of tomato sauce are stored in boxes in the pantry. Each box contains eight jars of tomato sauce, and a cook uses two jars from one of the boxes. Which function shows the relationship between y, the total number of jars of tomato sauce, and the remaining jars in the pantry, with x, the number of boxes in the pantry? Okay, so x is representing the number of boxes, okay, and y is the total. So total number is equal to um, whatever, bo whatever boxes we have. But each box contains eight. Each box contains eight jars. So that's gonna be eight times the number of boxes. Okay, so this is gonna be y is equal to eight x. Okay, but we cook use two jars from one of the boxes. So that's gonna be minus two. Okay, that's gonna give us our answer choice C. Just like we do, we're going to do number 43, just like we did the other one. I'm going to look at my points and I'm going to look at my slope. Here I have a negative slope, so I'm going to eliminate my answer choices that have a positive slope. Now, both of mine has a negative 3. That means I don't even need to look to see what my slope is. I know my slope is negative 3. Okay? Now I'm going to look and see which of these points. So this is going to become 4, negative 7. This is going to become negative 2, negative 1. Okay, so negative 2, negative 1, that's there, that's definitely not it. 4, uh, negative 7 has to be it, but let's check. I'm going to go to 4 and then down to negative 7, which is right there. Definitely it. Alright, this one's kind of fun. So, we have researchers in Antarctica, they discover a warm sea current. We want to talk about climate change and all that good fun stuff. So, a uh, current under the glacier that is causing the glacier to melt. Um, the ice shelf of the glacier has a thickness approximately 450 meters when it first discovered. So just like that other question, we know that when we first look at this, it's 450 meters. And then the thickness of the shelf is decreasing, so minus an average rate. Average rate, that's your clue, that's your slope, 0 0.06 per day, so that's going to be x. And that's going to give you, and what function? Uh, is used to find the thickness of the ice and the X number of days after discovery. That's going to give you your answer choice A. Alright, number 50. I'm going to do this one next video.